guys, in this video, I am going to give you the easiest, most simple explanation of the gel cast, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can use it to get frizz-free defined curls. This method is good for people who follow the curly girl method and for people who just have naturally curly hair and they want a new technique for styling their hair. Stay tuned. Yeah. Hi guys, Curly Susie here, and as I mentioned in today's video, we are gonna do a little quick tutorial about creating a gel cast. So for some of you watching this video, you're thinking, what the heck is a gel cast? And then for a lot of you, maybe you've been trying the gel cast, or you've seen people talking about the gel cast on message boards, and you just don't know where to start or what to do to create that kind of a style. So what is the gel cast? It's pretty much self-explanatory. Basically, you're gonna put gel onto your soaking wet hair and the gel and the water is going to coat your curls or your clumps of curls and then as your hair dries, the gel is also gonna dry and it's gonna form like a crystallized layer around each curl. Now, what is this gonna do? It's gonna keep your hair defined as it's drying and it's also going to eliminate frizz. Um, and yes, I said gel, I didn't say anything else. I do know that a lot of you out there like to add other products to this technique. So some people like to add a hair cream before the gel or a leave-in conditioner and then a hair cream and then the gel, but you guys know that I like to keep things as simple and inexpensive as possible and I like to use only one or two products. So today I'm going to prove to you that you can just use gel and I'm going to show you the technique using gel. Once you learn this technique, if you would like to experiment with some leave-in conditioner or some hair creams or hair oils or something different, you can add that to your routine, but for today we're going to keep it super duper simple. Okay guys, so I'm in the shower, my hair is soaking wet, and I'm going to start to apply my gel. This is how much gel I use. I'm going to start on one side, and I'm just going to use the praying hands technique and just smooth the gel carefully over my hair. And then I'm going to repeat. So I'm going to use the same amount of gel a second time. And then I'm going to rub it between my hands again. And I'm going to start to smooth from the opposite side of my hair in towards the center again. And then see there's still some gel left on my hands. I'm going to work that up into the roots without raking my fingers completely through my hair. I'm going to smooth some over the back of my head as well. And then start scrunching. So I'm trying to scrunch my hair nice and tight. So I'm mixing the water and the gel together and evenly distributing the mixture throughout my hair. And you can see my curls are already starting to form. Once I'm finished scrunching, I'm going to grab a t-shirt. My husband's favorite t-shirt. Anyway, I'm going to tip my head upside down onto this t-shirt, which is called plopping, and then I'm going to tie it, and I'm going to leave it like that for about 10 minutes. Okay guys, so I just removed the t-shirt from my head and that absorbed a lot of the water and a little bit of the gel. So that's another reason I use um, a lot of gel is because I do wrap my hair in a t-shirt for about 10 minutes while I get dressed or put makeup on, which I obviously didn't do. Um, and that way there's not gel and water like dripping all over my clothes. But so that's another reason I use a lot of gel, like I said, because the t-shirt absorbs some of it. And right now is the point that you can decide whether you want to just let your hair air dry or you want to diffuse. So if you're diffusing, you want to diffuse gently and you want to just lay your hair in the diffuser. Like, look at my hair dryer. <laughs> um, lay your hair in the diffuser and diffuse on like a low setting until your hair is completely dry. And when it's dry, it's going to be very crunchy and crusty, but that's what you want. So guys, I'm back. My hair is 100% dry and here is my gel cast. I'll get a little bit closer to the camera here. Um, and so yes, my hair is hard and crunchy um, and that is a good thing right now. Whether you did this on purpose, which I did today, or you did it by accident, and this happens to me a lot, I just put too much gel in and then my hair becomes crusty. Um, there's just a couple of quick steps that you can do to get rid of the cast and reveal beautiful frizz-free curls. Okay, so like I always mention, 
my in my videos I try to do things as like simple as possible and use as few products as possible so many people when they scrunch out the crunch they use a few different tools or different things to release the cast like they'll use a t-shirt to scrunch out the crunch um, just a regular cotton t-shirt to scrunch out um, the gel um, or they will use a microfiber towel. Um, some people like to put some oil on the palms of their hands or use like a leave-in conditioner on the palms of their hands or use like the Diva Curl, um, or sorry, the Set It Free spray that Diva Curl makes. But I'm telling you, you don't need to use any of that. I do like to put a little bit of conditioner on my hands sometimes, like a little bit of a leave-in but you can just use your bare hands. Um, and I discovered this because when I create a cast, normally it's by accident. So I go to work with my hair um, wet and then it dries and it's crusty and I have to scrunch out the crunch. I'm gonna keep scrunching. It takes quite a bit of scrunching, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep scrunching. So you can already start to tell it's getting a bit softer. Now, because my hair is in pretty good shape, um, I find I can actually do some of this. But for some of you, that's going to create more frizz. So the best thing to do is to use trial and error. I'm just getting rid of that gel cast. And then once you have the gel out of the bulk of your hair, I like to shake out my roots and that's going to create a little bit of volume. Um, so I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to put them in into my scalp and I'm gonna shake out the roots. Now I'm not raking my fingers through my hair. I'm just placing them in, shaking and pulling them straight back out. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. I'm gonna leave you today with a little clip of some pictures that some girls sent me on the Curly Girl Method support group on Facebook showing their before afters with and without the cast. And I hope that this motivates you to try it yourself. You can give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and a big thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.